So we went to a Nintendo Switch event over the weekend and obviously there's been a bunch of first party games but there's also been a ton of third party support which is lovely to see and we tucked into a few of those games. Mm -hmm. Which ones were your favorite? I really liked Sonic Mania. Yeah? I got to play Sonic Mania and um, Sonic was the first video game that I ever played mm -hmm. and Sonic Mania feels like an old school Sonic. Yeah. Um, and I got to play it, uh, I think I played it in handheld mode. Mm -hmm. So that's with the two Joy-Cons on either side of the Switch screen. And it played fantastically. The new D-pad though, uh, which is just four buttons instead of being a traditional, you know, cross D-pad. Mm -hmm. Felt a little strange to get used to. Yeah. Um, but the analog stick works great. Um, it looks like Sonic, it feels like Sonic, yeah. and it plays really, really well. Cool. And that's something that I can see playing on the train, on the Switch, definitely. Yeah. What about you? Well, we also both tucked into Just Dance. Which we we did play Which Just Dance <laughs> um, in a crowded hall. I played on uh, the Wii U a few times mm -hmm. and we played on the PlayStation. Uh, it feels just like Just Dance. It's Just Dance. Um, one of the things I would commend it for though is those Joy-Con controllers are tiny. Yes. Um, because, so you can hold them in your yeah, hand. Because I've played uh, Just Dance with a Wiimote, a move controller yep. and a phone. Yeah. <laughs> and the Joy-Con seems perfect for yep. Just Dance because it's so small, it's easy to hold, it's great. Unlikely um, to end up throwing at your TV. Totally, totally. Good. And then after we we played Just Dance, we played a racing game called mm -hmm. Fast RMX, which is basically what looks a lot like F Zero or Wipeout. And yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, what did you think? Well, one of the things I really liked is that it it has, along with all the other things you have to think about, like acceleration and boost and braking and banking. You uh, need to use boost lanes by making sure that your car is the same color yes. as the lane. Yeah. So it's either orange or blue. I thought that was really cute and it's something that I was aware of as I was playing, but mm -hmm. it's also yet another thing you have to, yeah, think, you have about to think about when you're about, trying yeah. to get to the front of the pack. So I steadily fell backwards and backwards yeah. and backwards as I was like, oh, well, at least I'm blue while well, I'm on the blue boost lane, even though I was, you know, forgetting to yeah. accelerate and boost and get in front of people and do all the other things. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And we got to play uh, on the new pro controllers as well, yeah. which feel quite, quite nice, I thought. So you also played Bomberman R, did, didn't you? I did, and I am still apparently terrible at Bomberman. Okay. Um, and it was, so it was four player, and I was the last one to turn up, so there were three people there all ready to go. Right. Uh, and they didn't have a Joy-Con ready for me, and okay. uh, the dude had to sync it, and he got to show me how you sync Joy-Cons, which was mm. really cool. It's just, you slot it into the side of the screen, then you pull it back out, and you've got your controller, and I thought that was really cool. But yeah, it's it's Bomberman. It looks like Bomberman. It plays like Bomberman. Uh, it's really fun to play multiplayer. And then, uh, so you played Frozen Bites' new game, uh, Has Been Heroes, I, I think. I did. It's a, oh, it's very complicated, actually. It's a strategy, like, action game mm -hmm. with turn-based gameplay. Basically, you have three different characters, and it's played within lanes. Mm -hmm. So you're sort of fighting waves of enemies who are constantly coming at you, and it surprisingly works really well on the Switch. Right. So um, each of your, like, letter buttons, like, X, Y are associated with a lane. So you can swap characters in and out of each lane to kind of figure out who's going to be the best character to be fighting, like whatever creature is coming at you in each lane. Mm -hmm. Each of the characters have a bunch of different abilities and spells, and you kind of need to figure out what is the best strategy to attack with. Mm -hmm. It seems really cool, and if you're into being able to like build, build a good group and like be able to quick change, it's lends itself to players who aren't that familiar with strategy as okay. well because it's turn-based so you can pause it constantly okay so you can play the game as fast or as slow as you want depending on how comfortable you are with switching lanes and figuring out what the best tactics are so those are just some of the third party games that we were able to get hands on with now that are coming to switch obviously there's a bunch more it's gonna be great to see things like skyrim i think one of the things that's interesting is that a lot of these third party games are running just a lot like they run on every other the platform that you can find them on. Yeah. They're not the kind of one to switch type games that are like gimmicky and really taking advantage of all the very specific nuances of the hardware, mm -hmm. but they're running quite well. So yeah, I think at this point, it'll just be interesting to see where they decide to go from here.